Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Monday, April 29th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so today, I um, I was up uh, quite a bit. Uh, give some back here after hours on uh, Google, trying to catch the knife, which isn't the best idea, um, but I thought it would give some type of bounce, but there wasn't uh, no bounce. Um, so just gonna go over this Google trade a bit. Um, so right now, uh, the extended hours close. Uh, so I have just five shares at uh, 119150. Uh, the last price was 1193. So the reason I bought here and was trying to swing because you can see there's support here around the 1185. Um, and you can see it held support here and then for now it's on this level with the 50 day moving average EMA. Uh, so in the morning I'm hoping to have a, a some, some type of bounce to get out. Um, or uh, a stop at uh, 11.85 if it gets below, which is uh, from five shares, it's, it's a uh, $30, $30 risk. So $30 risk with potential for, uh, I'm hoping for a mid-sized bounce, maybe it's towards the 12, 10, 12, 20 range. Um, so, okay, let's get into my trades here. So BE, so BE, um, I took two trades on this. Uh, one was on the short side, uh, which is in the morning, and then the other was uh, the long. So the first one was the sh short side. Uh, I saw this um, kind of cup and handle forming, uh, a really quick cup and handle, um, and the, the little bounce right there, and then uh, the break of this uh, 1363 or so. Uh, I went ahead there. Uh, so initially I had, I misclicked and only had four shares here. So it wasn't the uh, right amount. Uh, I think I um, accidentally clicked, uh, missed some zeros and I had four shares there. Uh, that was the entry I wanted. Uh, and then I saw another here, a second cup and handle here. And then for this break entry, and that's where I added the rest of my shares. Um, and then I covered along um, this support here. I think it was the five minute EMA. Yeah, so it broke the five minute EMA and that's where I wanted to cover. Um, and then I just took the rest off here. And that was the $23 winner. Um, and then uh, during the day, I saw it was kind of breaking out of this uh, wedge. So I went ahead and took a long there on this wedge and you can see it, went, it had a higher high here uh, around this area, but it didn't have enough, any volume uh, to give it a, any push follow through. So my stop was pretty much below this trend line. So I held, held this um, hoping for it pushed higher, you can see this higher lows, um, but there wasn't any action, so I just took it off there. And I think it was trending back down afterwards. So I took a $20 loss here on the long side. Um, pins, so pins, uh, I was watching this, I think on the 15 minute chart. Um, yeah, so on the 15 minute chart, it was forming uh, a cup and handle uh, around, um, I think it was around here, the 3250. Uh, and then it was breaking uh, the 15 minute chart and this little cup. So I saw it short there. It had a little pop back down uh, and then it got bought right back up. So I went ahead and just took it off and that was uh, pretty much even for this trade. Um, and then the next trade I did was this uh, cup and handle at the 29. So you can see this cup and handle um, right there. Um, and then I took that short, and this, this little tiny wick here. Um, and then I initially wanted to put my original stop above this, uh, but then I got uh, a little uh, hesitant and I just stopped out during that push up. Uh, 
I ended up uh, falling back down to 32 towards VWAP, uh, which would have been nice, but I kind of got shaken out and stopped there. And that was a $34 loss for these two fell shorts. Um, my next trade was ROAN. So ROAN, uh, it had, so it had uh, this grind up with this trend line here. So I saw I broke this trend line flag here. Um, and then I went ahead and started short when it broke below, uh, um, when it went lower towards this, um, this kind of uh, downtrend. So I took I took a long a short a short there uh, with my wrist off of around six ten area, and then I went ahead and covered when it broke below VWAP, and then just covered the rest there on that little pop above VWAP. So my wrist was uh, above VWAP, so it kind of wicked me out, uh, and then it kind of went down lower. But uh, I'm trying to get better at um, trailing my winners. Um, so like, you, you'll see I try to hold it much longer than usual. So Zion here, so I did two trades here. Uh, I did one on the long side, which was a $26 loss, and then a long and a short side, which was the $123 winner. So on the long side, uh, what I saw was this uh, cup and handle break. I went long there. There's no follow through. Um, and I think on the, I was also interested because it was a, uh, a kind of two days. So you can see here, it's kind of like a two day cup and handle. Um, it broke there, kind of wick, and then I just stopped out, um, and that was just for a 26 hour loss. Uh, I ended up going a little bit uh, towards 12, and what I had here was, you can see this $12, uh, this breakout on the daily, and you take that measured move and just add it. Uh, it pretty much uh, has ran the measured move, so it's kind of overextended. So coming towards the, tomorrow I would uh, I would assume that it will probably fade back down um, fade back down to another like a red day to test a 90 EMA here on a daily um, but on the short side uh, what I saw so I took I took a, a fell short uh, I stopped out on a short here for like a $70 loss so I shorted here I short I short it once here, um, right here. Uh, it kind of wicked. I re-added, and then um, I wanted to stop above the twelve dollars. So this twelve dollar here, um, and then it got it, I market stopped out, and I got a really bad feel. Um, you can see there's a big volume, uh, lot lots of stop triggering, uh, but there wasn't any follow through after that twelve dollar break. So what I saw was it kind of wicked out, kind of cup and handle. I saw it short, re-added, and then re-added. Um, you can see another big cup and handle, and then I just covered some down. Covered some down here, um, and uh, the break of VWAP. Uh, and then it ended up, uh, I, I had like a like very small size left, um, but, uh, it was like sixty dollar unrealized with that small size, and I it, I give it all back here. So I re-added when it tried to pop, and then I stopped out like um, it top top ticked me. Uh, so I was like uh, one cent above these highs, and it top ticked me out. And that was that was pretty much the high of the the evening or the afternoon there, and I I, I lost this uh, trail here. So I'm trying to practice trailing better. Uh, if I had uh, originally placed my stop here or not added, I would have probably not stop get stopped out so easily, um, and maybe I would have trailed uh, better. But that's something I need to learn. Uh, so, so yeah. So overall, uh, kind of traded a few today. Uh, Two hundred forty-one dollars. Uh, Google. Uh, I 
I was actually up like 130 today, uh, but after hours I gave back uh, $70 here on Google. So during this part here, I I try to catch the knife. Uh, I saw some support on the daily at two, uh, 1, 2, 10, 12, 10 area. Uh, so I started uh, adding, cause there's a higher low here. I added here or started there uh, very small and then added here and then my max max uh, stop was 12, 12, 10. So I stopped out there. Uh, that was for a $70 loss. Uh, end up uh, bottoming. I wanted to re-add uh, when it's retesting this uh, 1285 or 1185 area support. Um, so I went ahead and I saw this little dip uh, and then it dipped and held again. So it was like a double bottom. So I went ahead and add um, just five shares. Um, if it gives me a bounce tomorrow, then uh, so be it. If it stops me out for a $30 loss, I'll take that. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, trying to stay positive and this, this after hour trading is in my niche and this is just something I'm um, probably just testing. Uh, I don't know if it'll be consistent and it's pretty random. I shouldn't do it. Um, but yeah, so if I didn't make this trade, I would have been up $130. Uh, so I gave away some of my profits, which is and always the best thing to do. Um, I should just walk away and not trade um, setups that I am um, unknowingly. So as always, um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.